SD Access Design. In this video, I am going to talk about Cisco Software Defined Access or SDA. You know that Cisco Software Defined Access or SDA uses a software defined networking approach to build a converged wired and wireless campus LAN. The word access in the name refers to the endpoint devices that access the network, while software defined refers to many of the usual software defined architectural features. First, I'm going to review the SD access or Cisco software defined access in this video, and after that, in the next video, we will learn about the SD access design and some recommendation for designing SD access. First, let me to explain about the software defined access fabric underlay and overlay. Cisco software defined access or SDA creates an entirely new way to build campus lens. SDA uses the software defined architectural model with a controller and various APIs or application programming interfaces. It still uses a physical network with switches and routers, cables and various endpoints. At the center sits the digital network architecture or DNA center controller, with human users making use of a graphical user interface or GUI and automating using APIs. In short, DNA center is the controller for SDA networks. All right, now let me to explain about the underlay overlay and also fabric in the software defined access it is so important for us to understand the fundamentals correctly about the underlay here you can see the underlay and here you can see with more detail okay the network of devices and Con connections like the cables and wireless to provide IP connectivity to all nodes in the fabric with the goal to support the dynamic discovery of all SDA devices and endpoints as part of the process to create overlay VXLAN tunnels. You will learn that in this underlay, we will have some tunnels with VXLAN technology. I will explain it. But for now, let me to say that in underlay, we can have multiple devices, physical devices like the switch or rotors, in most cases uh, switches, okay, and also some connections like the wired connections, wireless connections, and also uh, finally we will have IP connectivity to all nodes in the fabric. Okay, with this IP connectivity, we can establish the overlay tunnels. Okay, about the overlay, here you can see the overlay. Look at here, this is switch one, switch two, and here we have some other switches. But in the overlay, as you can see, we have only switch one and switch two. Between these two, we have VXLAN tunnel. What does it mean? About the overlay, the, the mechanisms to create VXLAN tunnels between SDA or software defined access switches which are then used to transport traffic from one fabric endpoint to another over the fabric actually we will have overlay network over the underlay network what is the fabric the combination of overlay and underlay which together provide all features to deliver data across the network with the desired features and attributes uh, we say fabric okay actually combination of underlay and overlay is our fabric here you can see that we have the underlay in underlay we have some devices some connections over this underlay we will have overlay okay and the combination of underlay and overlay is our fabric and don't forget here also we have a controller dna center dna center controller that we can use it for configuration management troubleshooting and also some other functions over the sd access or over the fabric Actually, the underlay exists as multi-layer switches and their link with IP connectivity, but for a special purpose. The underlay supports some new concept with the tunneling method called VXLAN. Traffic sent by the endpoint devices flows through VXLAN tunnels in the overlay, a completely different process than traditional LAN switching and also IP routing. For instance, think about the idea of sending packets uh, from host on the left of a network over SDA to host on the right. 
For instance, imagine a packet enters on the left side of the uh, physical network, as you can see here, and eventually exists the campus out switch uh, two. Okay, on the far right, this underlay network looks like a more traditional network drawing with several devices and links. Okay, the overlay drawing at the top of the uh, uh, this figure shows only two switch called fabric edge nodes. This is the first fabric edge node and this is the second fabric edge node because they happen to be at the edge of the SDA fabric with the tunnel labeled VXLAN connecting the two. Both concept underlay and overlay together create the SDA uh, uh, for example fabric. I will explain with more detail about the underlay and overlay but about the controller architecturally the southbound side of the controller contain the fabric underlay and overlay. Here we have southbound interface by design in stn implementation most of the interesting new capabilities occur on the northbound side which are uh, for example connected to the users to the graphical user interface to the application programming interfaces okay but now we are learning first about the underlay after that i will explain with more detail about the overlay about the SDA underlay, with SDA the underlay exists to provide connectivity between the nodes in the SDA environment for the purpose of supporting VXLAN tunnels in the overlay network. To do that, the underlay include the switches, rotors, cables, and wireless links used to create the physical network. It also include the configuration and operation of the underlay so it can support uh, the work for, uh, of the overlay network. To build an SDA underlay network, companies have two basic choices. They can use their existing campus network and add new configuration to create an underlay network while still supporting their existing production traffic with traditional routing and switching. Alternately, the company can purchase some new switches and build the SDA network without concern for harming existing traffic and migrate endpoints to the new SDA network over time. To build SDA into an existing network, it helps to think for a moment about some typical campus network design. The larger campus site may use either a two-tier or three-tier design. It has a cluster of wireless LAN controllers WLCs to support a number of lightweight access points or LWAPs. Engineers have configured VLANs, VLAN trunks, IP routing, IP routing protocols, ACLs and so on, and the LAN connects to WAN router. SDA can be added into an existing campus land, but doing so has some risk and restrictions. First and foremost, you have to be careful not to disrupt the current network while adding the new SDA features uh, to the network. These issues include, because of the possibility of harming the existing production configuration, DNA center should not be used to configure the underlay if the devices are currently used in production. DNA center will be used to configure the underlay with deployment that use all new hardware. The existing hardware must be uh, from the STA compatibility list with different models supported depending on their different STA roles. The device software levels must meet the requirement based on their roles as detailed in the same compatibility list. For instance, imagine an int enterprise happened to have an existing campus network that uses SDA compatible hardware. That company might, needs to, might need to update the iOS versions in a few cases. Additionally, the engineers would need to configure the underlay part of the SDA devices manually rather than with DNA Center because Cisco assumes that the existing network already supports production traffic so they want the customer directly involved in making those changes. The SDA underlay configuration